Hi, this is Ruben from Legend Brands. This is the second video in a series of how to winterize your truck mount. You're gonna to wanna to do this once the temperatures are hitting 32 degrees or below consistently. And the first thing you want to do is winterize the truck mount portion of the machine itself. We just finished that, and if you haven't watched that, do that first. There's a video uh, up here, you can click on the link in YouTube or down in the description if you're watching on Facebook. Now, phase two, we're gonna winterize the chemical metering system that will add antifreeze to the side glass there and into the braided hose here. I'm joined today by Brendan Kimmel. He's our carpet cleaning tech uh, instructor up in Burlington, and he's gonna go over what we need for this part of the process. So take it away. Well, you just need a few supplies. Uh, first of all, since you're gonna winterize the chemical metering system right here, you're gonna need some antifreeze with which to do it. So we'll stage that right there. Uh, also, um, you're gonna need a, a solution hose so you can uh, flow some water through the system and at least some type of cleaning tool. It could be uh, this stair cleaning tool right here. It could certainly be a carpet wand, five gallon bucket, so you can start flowing some solution into that bucket as you draw um, the water out of the system and replace it with the pure antifreeze. So I'll just give a quick dry run of what we're gonna do, and then I'll turn the truck mount on, then we'll go through the actual steps and you'll see the winterization process happen. Um, basically, what we're gonna start with is uh, pulling the solution jug for chemicals out of the way, and then place our antifreeze where that was. We're gonna, we're gonna take the cap off, and then we have our braided hose here, which is our chemical solution hose, and we're gonna put that with the strainer in the bottle, make sure it sinks all the way down to the bottom, because we are gonna be drawing some product out of that bottle. Um, when we actually do it, we need to start connecting the solution hose. Let's go ahead and get that staged and connected. Connect it up to the cleaning tool, we're gonna to flow solution through. There we are. And then, well, after we start the truck mount, um, we, have to, we should probably make sure our water pressure is turned down all the way. That means go all the way down to the left on this model. And then, with the system running, the truck mount running, we will turn the solution pump on and then we're gonna go over to our chemical metering knob right here. And the first step is to start priming the system. Priming will draw the antifreeze from the bottle into the chemical hose and start feeding it into the chemical pump. So at that point, we're just going to hit the prime and you'll see the hose shaking. And then you're gonna start seeing the antifreeze working through this hose going in toward the pump and then ultimately ending up in here. Um, after we're, we're primed, and by the way, when you're priming, you're not gonna be squeezing the trigger of the tool. After we prime and that hose is filled, we'll go to the off position, and then we can go right into the on position, which means we're gonna flow chemical and inject it into the line. And then we're gonna start squeezing our trigger, and as I start squeezing my trigger, make sure that your chemical flow knob is not all the way off. Make sure it is at least somewhat open, and then we will be drawing uh, the antifreeze through the other side of the system post pump. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's go ahead and start at the truck mount and go through this exact process that I described to you. All right, we've now finished winterizing the truck mount unit. We've done the unit itself. Now we've just finished winterizing the chemical metering system. This thing is now ready to be in storage for however many months the cold season lasts. You will need to de-winterize the unit before you can then go out clean carpets. We've created the playlist here. Uh, you can view those videos there. Uh, we're now gonna show you how to winterize cleaning tools and solution hoses that you might have on board. Couple words, first, Remember, the best way to get through this cold season is actually just to keep your work van and truck mount and all accessories within a heated garage. This uh, method of winterization is only um, advised if you can't do that. Uh, and secondly, when you are running the truck mount, like we did just then to uh, run the antifreeze through the chemical metering system, do it outside. There will be carbon monoxide being emitted from the truck mount as you're doing that. If this video was helpful for you, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and wherever you are, stay clean.